Luxador 2000. So it started in August 2014. I never mentioned that it was 10 years ago. Libby done. Oh, wow, so it really has been going on for a while. Now her... Like, I mean, I knew it was a while, but I didn't realize it had been that long. Like, damn. Exodor 2000. Gamergate was the reaction of an industry calling its fan base sexist. Libby Dunn. Damn, I honestly never knew that that is so weird. It's just like a big chain of events that led up to all of that happening, which made things even worse. Like, that was a big event, but I don't think the game industry expected their fan base to have that strong of a reaction to what they said. Exodor 2000. Also, billeting all men over the action of a few only adds to the issue. Understand there were bad actors on both sides with death threats, doxing, and harassment. Libby Dunn. Yeah, you really don't want to attack the whole group because then it will just make the group angry and then there will be another chain of events which can lead to something horrible which I feel happened in a lot of the examples I have seen online. Exodor 2000. The issue really started with only 10% of video game production involving women. Libby Dunn. Like only 10% of video game production involving women is just sad but that shouldn't mean you blame all men for it. It just doesn't add up. It's just like blaming all white people for a few people making bad comments about race. Exodor 2000. Yeah people tend to react negatively to bigots on the internet. Libby Dunn. Yeah, bigotry online just never ends well and it always ends up spiraling into worse things with each passing time. Exodor 2000. Yeah, that was a neat sarcasm. The problem is yes, there is a problem with people harassing women online, but they harass everyone online. Libby Dunn. Like you said, they do it to everyone and I've seen that everywhere I've seen people get harassed for being white and for being male and for being gay, for being trans, for being women, for literally anything and that's why bigotry is bad no matter what, it's just people getting attacked for being themselves but for some reason that's still not taken serious. Exodor 2000 That's why people say don't feed the trolls because that's what they want is for someone to freak out over it and make a scene. Libby Dunn yeah, I think that's really what people need to realize more is when you feed the troll or when you start freaking out you're giving them exactly what they wanted from you but if people just ignored the troll that would make things so much less toxic and so much less bigoted. Exodor 2000 Well all that led to an explosion of talk on the subject onto social media. Libby Dunn And I guess that's been causing this way of life toxicity and stuff to spiral online for who knows how long. But if people just realize that ignoring the bigots is the right way to go and just start doing that instead it would help everything so much more. Exodor 2000. It escalated to a point where actual hate groups started to chime in with their ideas. Libby Dunn. And that's horrible. Like you said, hate groups started to chip in with their own ideas and then it just turned into this horrible cycle of hate just one after the other that didn't stop and I wish it was more addressed like if it got addressed more I feel like things would be a little better but that didn't happen so here we are in this current state which isn't very pretty at all. Exodor 2000 Someone is saying once free speech was gone it got worse. Libby Dunn Really? Once free speech was gone it got worse? Like once people weren't allowed to voice their bigotry or were blocked by people because they didn't want to hear the hateful things they were saying it started to get worse because people felt suppressed for being a shitty person. Exodor 2000. Exactly and that led to Donald Trump winning his election in 2016. Libby Dunn. Wait how exactly did this lead to Donald Trump winning? Is there actually a direct connection between all of this? Exodor 2000. Yes, once you take away but realize this may just be one interpretation of this but Libby Dunn. Oh my god that's just disgusting how it all connects it's so crazy that something so small could have such a major effect on the country it definitely makes a little more sense now why everything felt like it was going downhill since that time. Exodor 2000. Yeah sorry I mistyped that but yeah taking their ability of free speech led them to congregate together where their ideas pooled and found a hive mind of sorts because they weren't in diverse groups anymore. Libby Dunn. Oh wow that's terrifying that it was because they were being silenced they all just kind of got together and agreed with each other and basically like came up with this hive mind of hate which I guess really explains the toxicity the internet and social media still carry today. Exodor 2000. Yes, crazy, and having said that I don't begrudge those companies protecting themselves, but look where it leads. Libby Dunn. 
that really shows you why it's just better to ignore them instead of feeding into them because you end up with one single high demon with the same ideas which can lead up to a major thing that can change the country and have them attack the government then they disagree with something. Exodore 2000. Yep you get it the whole situation is sad really. Libby Dunn. It really is sad. It's a spiral of so much sadness and hate that I think was just not addressed. So all of it started to get worse because it went unchecked for so long. And now it's just a huge mess that probably won't be fully fixed for a long time. And things probably won't ever fully go back to normal anymore. Exodore 2000. That then led to men's rights groups. Libby Dunn. Young and then all these other hate groups that's sad that they started to rise up during this time and they still kind of are around and they're still problematic. Exodore 2000. All that led into Alex Jones and Pizza Gate. Libby Dunn. Oh my god it all is connected I can't believe we figured it all out. Exodore 2000. Back into gaming someone profited off of World of Warcraft gold farming Steve Bannon. Libby Dunn. Wait really? Exodore 2000. Yes it was so bad Blizzard had to put an end to the gold mining. Libby Dunn. Wait what? This is so crazy I knew it was huge but I never fully realized how big it actually was and especially for WoW and that it was that bad to where they had to put an end to all of that. Exodore 2000. Steve Bannon used it to start his website Breitbart the alt-right platform. Libby Dunn. He was running BRBITBARD. Oh, wow, he really was just a horrible person and I guess the whole wild gold mining and the video gamers getting mad at women's stuff really all led to him gaining power. Oh my god, the more we talked about this, the more messed up it got. Exodore 2000. Yeah, so why would they need a platform because they had been kicked from their others? Libby Dunn. Wow, so the wild old farming helped them form their own space where they could say whatever bullshit they wanted to say and other people who believed them and supported them would tune in there for more bullshit they believed in. Exodore 2000. Exactly, it's so crazy, isn't it? They weren't going to just disappear. Libby Dunn. Damn, that's so true and honestly this makes a lot of sense with everything. Exodore 2000. I am sure this is no surprise but all that gave us canon. Libby Dunn. Oh my god Q Anon. It all makes sense now with everything we've been talking about this whole time. It's like I don't know why I didn't realize this beforehand but now that you're connecting it all it makes so much more sense. And I am just surprised I didn't remember before now Elenio. Exodor 2000. Yeah it's okay they have fundamentalist Christians on their side but you see how having those other groups in one high mind helps their cause. I have to look more into this. Libby Dunn. It's crazy how once those groups were combined it all makes things more powerful. I really didn't realize how much I didn't understand but you've made me realize so much now and made me want to look more into it because if you'll look at all of the hate groups that has spread around with this hype mind there's a lot of them and they have huge support so there's probably other ones that formed during this time to that I didn't realize. Exodore 2000. You can see why I want to see all sides so we can work on improving things. Libby Dunn. Yeah, I get it. I mean, if we know all of this, it'll help us figure out how to fix the problem and help put an end to this horrible chain of events that's plaguing the world right now. Exodor 2000. Along with that psychologist tried to see if there was a correlation of violence and the release of violent video games and they have actually found the opposite that at times with releases of violent video games crimes by youths has actually gone down. Libby Dunn. Really? While I never would have thought that I thought violent video games would make people more violent instead of making it go down. It really is so crazy that we have these facts right in front of our face yet most people don't realize this stuff yet and they still want to pin all of it off on video games. Exodore 2000. There is a problem though with game companies and reviewers being too close you have to go through PR to get access to those games. Libby Dunn. That's true especially with the way the gaming industry is now it's very focused on making sales and money more so than actually caring about the game which I think is sad and really makes the gaming industry not as great as some people think it is but we're really seeing a lot of improvement especially with how people are really starting to speak out against this which is good but there's still the ways to go with this stuff. Exodore 2000 
Yeah, all that as well as crunched for those big AAA developers and it comes out now too. They're not always that great to their employees, so maybe their PR is that they are for women and diversity while treating the women that work for them horrible. Libby Dunn. Really? I didn't know about that. While they're really just trying to make themselves look good, but they're really doing the opposite by basically not doing anything to fight actual sexism and racism, but instead they're just kind of trying to hide it in a way where they're basically just using diversity to mask all of the horrible things they've been doing to people. Exodor 2000 That is something I really hate. I've read several articles and the some states are going after the companies I could name three game companies that are terrible to their employees right now, but I want Libby done. Hank, that's really disappointing because you think big triple triple A developers are going to have great working conditions because there's so many people working on a game and you see so many people in these credits but really we don't know how many of those people were treated horribly and some probably don't have great work conditions in general and that just sucks honestly. Exodor 2000 One company I know of would climb under the desks of female employees while drunk. Libby Dunn What? That's so missed of who would do that. And how did no one say anything about that? Exodor 2000. Well, that's out now and they're in a big legal battle over it. Another company outed the trans person to her co-workers. Libby Dunn. That's horrible. Like, how can any company say they're for diversity when they're literally doing things like that? That just shows that they don't actually care about social issues. They're just putting on a facade for the media and their consumers. Exodor 2000. The third company ignored complaints by female employees about harassment from bosses that's still being looked into. Libby Dunn. Wow, how many companies have to get exposed like this before they actually do stuff to help these women and the people they were harassing? They're just going to keep having these issues if they just ignore it and make themselves look good through diversity but don't actually care about the people in the company. It's just a really bad situation that these women were out in and it's really disappointing. X.